Alright peeps, last Epox Harbinger's A Ruin update is dropping on July 9th. And while everyone is hyped up about the big features like the new faction and dodge rolling, 11 Hour Games is also bringing some sweet quality of life improvements that deserve a shout out. First off, we're getting the ability to change blessings without losing progress. Now you can switch it up without feeling like you're starting over. It's like being able to change your order at a drive through without having to drive around the building again. The ladder system is getting some love and we can finally search the monolith timeline map. No more squinting at the screen trying to find that one spot. It's like getting a GPS for your fantasy world. More filters for loot? Yes, please. Now you can find what you need without wading through the piles of junk. And they're tweaking item factions too, making it easy to get the gear you want. It's like having a personal shopper in the game. Two new ranks are being added to the Circle of Fortune, and they're making the Gaze of Orabis mechanic less frustrating. Finally, no more feeling like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of doom. The Merchant Guild is getting some sweeter offerings. Think of it as a loyalty program for all of your in-game shopping needs. Class changes are coming in hot. Skills, passives, and channeling are all getting tweaked. One cool change? Mana regenerates during channeling if you invested in that perk. It's like getting a recharge while you're still in the fight. And for you bargain hunters, the bizarre search function is now getting an upgrade, especially a fix searching. No more digging through the bargain bin. You'll find what you need faster than ever. And my take on this is 11 Hour Games is hooking us up with some quality of life improvements in this update and these changes may seem small, but they're going to make a big difference. So I'm really excited about it. Can't wait for this update. So mark your calendars for July 9th and get ready for a smoother, more enjoyable gaming experience. That's how I see it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace and happy gaming.